guys doing the review on the Pulse BF Box Mod Squonk. I thought I'd let you know you need to know Ohm's Law battery safety. You have to be an experienced vapor. It's not something you just play around with because it's very dangerous. Also, um, I love this squonk. So convenient when you go out. You can just, yeah, you can just squonk from the bottom. That's the Pulse BF squonk mod. Let's get it out. I'll show you. That's it. Right there. So there's Pulse on the front. On the back, it should say Tony B Projects, manufactured by Vandy Vape. And it says Vandy Vape at the side, look guys. Before we go into any more of that, we'll give you the rundown of the features. Features, spring-loaded 510, locking power safety switch, which I have to find that out on YouTube. 2700 battery, 18650 compatible. There's a silicon tube in there, to, so you have... So you can put an 18650 battery in there, which is really cool. You can do that. An 8mm food grey silicon bottle, which is that there, which is your squonk bottle. Also, you have replaceable front and back panels. Right, let's show you a quick rundown of the squonk mod. Pulse BF. That's the front panel. You just take it off literally like that. That's how I do it. This here is your 18650 adapter. That's your 18650 adapter. Minus goes up into that bit like that. You put that in there like that. Minus at top. Minus at the top here. Plus at the bottom. That's obviously your squonk bottle. It's got juice in it at the minute. This here, this is what it's on about. The lever, do that. And it fires. You put it like that, and it doesn't fire, so it cuts off the firing button, which is really good. I wouldn't advise putting these in your pocket, I still wouldn't, even though it has that feature. Also, you've got the the uh, fire the 510 connector that always falls out, it's a bit annoying sometimes. Also, you've got the nice big firing button, it's a bit of a tight gap in there. But I quite like it. And you just take that off like that, you see? Look at that. Got a bit of juice in the back. Just wipe that off, doesn't really matter. But yeah, now let's put a battery in. And show you how to use the, the um, Pulse BF Squonk box mod. Oh yeah, look, this is that bit there. That's what I meant to show you. The minus, which is that, goes at the top like that. Put that in. Then, obviously, that's the plus, which goes... This is how I do it, guys. You don't have to do it like that. You might find an easier way of doing it. I slide in like that. Then just push it. And it goes in. Uh, also, today, I'm using my Druga. It's only a 0 0.13 ohm build, which is pretty good. <laughs> Gives off a lot of cloud, a nice flavour. I do usually stick with my dead rabbit, but I thought I'd give it a chance. Right, anyway, like I said, that's cut off the power, the, um, the firing button, sorry. And that connects the firing button. Right. And then, obviously, when you want to put juice into your idea, you just do that. Alright, anyway, guys, let's actually just quickly show you the build. About six or seven wraps. That's the build. It's not a philosophy deck. I can't say it properly, but yeah. Let's have a vape, guys. Shut my door. I'll set the fire alarm off. Oh, 
I am really liking this Squonk box mod. It's made by Pulse, well, made by Van Vape, which is a Pulse, but yeah, Squonk. And this is how I'll take my battery out. I'll just push it like that on the back and then take that off see that's fine take the battery out then slot this pull the lever up and then slot that in like that put that on the front just like that and just slot the back on that's basically it but like I said, these are one good swamp mods. I really like them and I'm using it. Next big thing, green apple hard candy. <coughs> 120ml. Got that from my local vape shop. Alright, anyway guys. Stop rambling on now. <laughs> I would like to say thank you for you viewers, subscribers. And I hope I get more subscribers and viewers. And I hope you all have a nice new Christmas and a happy new year. If I don't do a video before the new year. Depending on what I get, if I get any vape related stuff for Christmas. But all I want to say is follow Team VC UK on Instagram. It's all vape related stuff, which is my, not technically my team, but I'm part of them. And also follow Vaping Today and Tomorrow, which is obviously my Instagram, and also John Bush. He is a really good MacWod vapor. He's a very experienced vapor, shall I say. He knows he knows quite a bit about Max. So yeah, if you want to see nice vape related and good pictures, follow them three guys. Well, anyway, like I said, hope all you viewers, subscribers stay tuned in, and I hope I get more coming in. Thank you.